Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming Electronic Podcast back with another iOS app review and I do want to mention first of all that this video footage is recorded with the Avermedia Game Broadcaster HD. Today I'm reviewing the iOS game Blood Run. It's a 99 cent universal app brought to us by Knob Studio. Well, Blood Run falls into the Endless Runner genre and there's no shortage of this genre in the app store, each one kind of taking its own stab at trying to be the next Temple Run addiction. Blood Run takes a little bit different approach and it falls into the 2D Endless Runner genre, blending simple colors, high scores, and lots of blood. Overall the main concept is the same though, run the longest and see who can get the highest score. In Blood Run you combat six different enemies while running on your journey. There's Swordsmen, Spearmen, Shield Masters, Flying Daggers, Flying Arrows, and Giants. Now to combat them you have a sword which is used with an attack button on the lower right hand of the screen and also a defend button on the lower left hand of the screen to help you block um, and defend yourself. Each specific enemy requires a different style of blocking, attacking, or both and uh, as you run by you kind of have to press the right sequence, it kind of goes into the sequence bank and then your uh, character performs the action. Unlike most endless runners, there's nothing chasing you. Instead, this is all about pressing forward and defending and attacking enemies. Also, you do have a health meter so you can get hit multiple times before dying. And backgrounds do change, but the art style remains simple and the same. What I like about this game is the simplistic graphical scheme of the game. The blood splatter is more artistic than violent, and the game is painted on a timid canvas utilizing dark shadows as the characters. I also like the concept of incorporating a 2D combat system within Blood Run, but even though I like the concept, that does not necessarily mean that it works very well, and I'll talk about that in a minute. The tutorial of this game is also really well done. Uh, the tutorial walks you through how to combat each of the enemies really nicely in six different segments with a whole tutorial mode before you jump into the endless run. Now to what I dislike about the game. The main thing I dislike about this game is the enemy placement and the general execution of combat. Although I love the concept of combat and incorporating that into an endless runner, it still has to be executed well and that's something that, that was, was not a great focus for Knob Studio in Blood Run. It felt like the enemies were placed poorly. For example, they often put giants right beside each other and to kill them you have to do a charge attack. Well, you don't have time to charge a second attack when they're right beside each other, so even if you timed it perfectly, you still get hit. So I kinda hope they fix the enemy placement in the update because, well, in an update, if it's going to come, because I really think this has some potential, but really the enemy placement just hinders the game at this point. Blood Run also tends to be repetitive. With 2D, you don't get the mix up of the runner genre like you might in a Temple Run title where you get to do twists, turns, and all sorts of different things like that. Plus, you only combat six types of enemies, so the repetitiveness kicks in almost immediately. I really wanted to like Blood Runner. Knob Studio tried interesting concepts that were just not executed the greatest in the end. I hope to see some updates for this title because I would like to go back to it and try it again. For now, with the timing frustrations and the repetitive nature, it's kind of making me put this one on the virtual shelf for a while. Once again, this has been Tony with the Classic League Gaming Electronic Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, like and favorite this video, and follow us over at Gaming2.0, G2PO.com. Have a good day.